Today we'll be learning about James Rizzi and drawing cities inspired by his artwork. We will be learning facts about James Rizzi, creating artwork inspired by his cityscapes. He was born in Brooklyn, New York. He was a pop artist known mostly for his 3D work until he later began painting again. He created album artwork. He was the official artist for the 96 Olympic Summer Games. He even designed a Volkswagen Beetle. Here are the materials you need for today. Draw rectangles on your paper, vary their heights. Use different shapes to decorate the roofs. Add windows and silly faces to the buildings. You can look at these ideas or create your own. Go over all your pencil lines with a marker or a pen and then add color in any way that you like. One popular way is to outline with marker and then go over it with a paintbrush and water, creating your own watercolor paints. If you are using water and a paintbrush over the markers that you added, don't forget to clean your brush really well between colors so you don't get any unnecessary mixing. Did you add a sky to your artwork? Remember back when we saw James Rizzi's paintings? A lot of times he included both the sun and the moon in his sky, which is a really fun thing to do. You might consider that in your sky. going to draw a more detailed cityscape. Using a ruler or the side of a paper, draw three straight lines. Now add arrow tips on those lines. After that you're going to add three to four more lines of varying heights, also with the arrows on top. These lines will be the beginning of your city buildings. This city is a little more dense than the city we previously drew. The buildings are also narrower, so if you opt to draw faces on them, they will need to be a little bit smaller. If you'd like to have larger faces on them, you may want to extend those upside down V's a little wider so that you can fit a larger face. After you've drawn all of your lines, you can start adding your windows. Keep in mind you want the diagonal lines of the windows to match that of the roof. Here are those silly faces again. Also, you can always use your own. Think about what details you'd like to add. Don't get overly detailed, sometimes that can be difficult to see in something this size. I'm only choosing three buildings to put faces on so that it's not overwhelming, but you could definitely put faces on each one for a different look. Add more windows, keeping in mind that the diagonal lines on the top and bottom of the windows should be very similar to that diagonal line of the roof. Notice how the windows go different directions with their diagonal lines on each side of the building. Add your ovals in the sky for a sunset. You could also do a spiral. My ovals didn't come out that great. Go over the pencil with a marker, erase any extra lines.
continue doing that for the whole sunset and all of the buildings. I'm using watercolor pencils, but you could use crayons, markers, whatever you like to color with. Watercolors even, or doing the markers where you add the water on top like the previous lesson. Take your time deciding what colors you want in that sunset. Or maybe you want to do a nighttime sky, have it be a moon. I'm adding the water over my watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils are similar to the technique that we used with the marker. You do want to keep your brush really clean between colors. When you're finished, make sure you find a nice place to display all of your artwork.